This is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a HP 14-BS laptop, and I'm going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on a HP 14-BS laptop. A couple things before we start. Our first thing we want to do is remove the battery. This laptop has an external battery, so what we want to do is slide this lever to the right and remove the battery and put it to the side. Second thing is to identify this laptop model. And on the bottom, if the camera focuses, it says HP or model 14-BS153OD. So, um, so everything that has BS on it, this procedure will work. There may or may not be a touchscreen version of this laptop down the road. So if it's a touchscreen, the procedure may be different. So this is for the non-touch version of the HP, mo HP Model 14-BS laptop. All right, the second thing is we're going to go over the tools we're going to use. We have a PH1 electronic screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips and 1 is the size. A pair of metal tweezers, that's to manipulate cables and to use as a prying tool. A hobby knife or an exacto knife, and that's to lift up adhesive tape. A metal spudger, that's used as a prying tool. And a smaller PH0 electronics screwdriver. So the first thing we want to do is remove the screen bezel. That's the plastic frame around the screen, and this one is not secured by any screws so we can just snap it off. To do that, we'll put our fingertips or fingernails on the screen side of the bezel and gently lift upwards and outwards. And in this manner, work your way around the screen assembly like this. And same on the bottom. So it'll be a little bit more difficult on the bottom, but it can be done. Now, uh, once you get to this part, the bezel is just going to wiggle. So what we want to do is there's some latches behind this, this, the hinge covers, and we gently just work it up. So it might take a couple of tries. Try this one. And try this one again. We'll, gen we'll eventually get it done. And it was working before, so... Okay, so we finally got it done. Just we'll go it around, move it forward, and it finally comes out. All right, so this was a little bit harder, so Move it forward, backward, wiggle it out, and wiggle it out, and finally it comes out. Next, we have the screen assembly, and we have the screen is attached to the screen assembly with two screws at the top and two screws at the bottom. So what we want to do is take our PH1 electronic screwdriver and remove the four screws. So there's two screws right next to each other. We don't want to remove this one. We want to remove this one. And make sure you get a good grip on the screw so it doesn't strip. And we have one. And same with this one. Uh, undo the inner screw, not the outer one. Two. And three. Okay, it's coming. So make sure, once again, make sure you get a good grip. The, these screws don't are a little bit tricky, so you don't want to strip them. And so get a good grip, and then undo the screws. And there, they are pretty tightly screwed into there. Okay, so we have the four screws out. Next, grab the screen by the metal tabs at the top, 
and gently lay the screen down. And then there's just one connector to the screen over here and we need to lift up the adhesive tape. To do that, we use our metal tool, our metal hobby knife, exacto knife, lift up the adhesive tape and being careful not to damage the connector and then when we lift up the adhesive tape we slide the connector out like so. I'm going to show you how to slide it back in. When you slide it back in you feel but not hear two clicks. And let's get a close-up. So this one is... Okay, now it's fully connected. Okay, pause the video right here. Right here. Make sure the two sides of the connection are flush with each other. There should not be a gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. Okay, we're going to take it out again. And we're going to extract the screen. This is a 14-inch EDP screen. It's fairly common. For this particular model, it has a glossy finish. Some screens have a matte finish. And the part number for this one is B140 XTN 02.D. So a couple of things to note. So this is not a touch screen and this is HD resolution. This is 1366 by 768. The screen with FHD resolution uh, will look exactly the same and the only way to tell is from the part number. So uh, make sure you know the resolution of your laptop. For this particular model it's HD resolution. We at Screen Surgeons have this screen available for sale and what we provide is this toolkit for, comes for free with the screen and we have a two-year warranty on the parts and free shipping within the United States. If you live outside the United States just follow the normal checkout procedure and uh, select your country. Uh, to order the screen from us from Screen Surgeons go to www.screensurgeons.com there will be a short form for you to fill out that will ask for your laptop model number and then the right screen will come up. Okay, uh, once you do get the screen in, uh, reconnect the connector as I showed you, mount the screen inside the screen assembly, put the two screws in at the top and two screws in at the top bottom and then snap this screen bezel back on. Okay, that's it. Once again, my name is Eugene Panrudkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much, and good luck.